I've received a lot of questions about the Hypercarbon X, and most people want to know if it's really a carbon fiber frame, and if so, what does the frame alone weigh? In this video, I teamed up with a couple of friends to strip the bike bare, and on top of frame weight, we'll be taking a closer look at the frame to see if there's anything we can learn or if there are any secrets to be revealed. I also need to mention that I contacted Hyper and they confirmed that this was a bike made exclusively for Walmart. And when I asked why it had some bottom end components mixed in with a carbon fiber frame, they said that Walmart had requested a carbon framed bike within a specific price point. So the lesser components are to meet that price point. They also confirmed, and we saw when we disassembled the bike, that it was in fact a straight steerer tube. And as you can see here, there are no spacers that can be removed that would allow you to use a tapered fork. Though surprisingly, rather than plain bushings, the headset has sealed bearings on both the top and the bottom. Here's a good shot to show that there are no spacers or removable inserts on the bottom of the head tube. Once completely stripped down, the frame is light. I don't know exactly how light it is when compared to other carbon fiber mountain bike frames, but it is lighter than I expected. It is fair that I admit I didn't have the highest of hopes, but it is noticeably less weight than a stripped down aluminum mountain bike frame that was laying off to the side. That aluminum frame weighed in at over 4 pounds. The Hyper Carbon X's frame, 2 pounds 13 and 1 half ounces. Or for our international friends, 1,290 grams. By Walmart bike standards, that's practically light as a feather. And it also lends credence to the fact that this may in fact be a carbon fiber frame. Looking further at the frame, there are also some other things that are revealed, like the glued in inserts for the bottom bracket. And the bracket itself is a square tapered bracket made by Neko. That's the company that made the stem and the spacers up top, so there is some continuity throughout the bike. But is this frame really carbon fiber? All I can do is look up into the head tube, and when I do, I see what appears to be carbon fiber layers. So the frame definitely contains some carbon fiber, and is not all plastic or some other material as some have suspected. However, when I look into the seat tube, I don't really see any noticeable carbon fibers. Instead, it looks to me more like fiberglass. And that's all I can see other than just looking at the frame externally, and there are no visible mold or joint lines anywhere. So the frame certainly is lighter than a standard mountain bike frame, and it definitely contains some carbon fiber. But how much and how high of quality that is, I'll have to depend on some of you guys that know more about carbon fiber frames to chime in and let me know. One final thing I want to mention is about the non-taper head tube, because some of you say that's a deal killer, and fair enough. But be careful what you recommend if you claim that, because I frequently see people comment that a Diamondback in the same price range would be a better bike. Diamondback does make some good bikes, but just because it has Diamondback's name on it doesn't mean you get everything that you think you're getting. It just so happens that one of the guys that helped me tear down the Carbon X owns a 2016 Diamondback Atros, a bike that he says was marketed as having a tapered headset. Only it doesn't. It has a fake taper. A vapor. That's on a Diamondback, in this same price range. Oh, and also, the frame broke in half while someone was riding it. So be careful out there regardless of what you buy. Thanks for watching, have a great day, and stay tuned because I'll soon be uploading a video where I swap out a few components and see if I can make this bike any better.